Hi everyone, welcome back to this YouTube video. This is one of the most requested YouTube videos of all the time. That is how to actually build a career in cloud computing. And I get requests from people who have a tech background and who do not have any tech background who want to build a cloud career. So I have created this five step roadmap for you. If you are from a tech background, of course you will be able to leverage your background and get through the steps faster. And if you're from non-tech background, I will still request you to stick to the end of this video, follow all the five steps of the roadmap. And I'm sure that with a little hard work, with a little extra time, you will be able to build your cloud career. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So first I'm going to give you a high level overview of what the roadmap looks like. I have broken it down into five steps as you can see on the screen. And for every step, I have also provided how much time you should be spending on that particular step. So the five steps are first, learning the cloud basics. Step number two is actually getting cloud knowledge and building hands-on practice. Step number three is going and getting certified, getting a cloud certification. Now this is an optional step and I will get into details of why this is optional when I get to that part. The number four is doing interview prep and doing a lot of, you know, study there. And step number five is to give interviews and get multiple job offers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive deep in each of these section, provide you with tips and also free resources to practice along the way. So step number one is mastering the cloud computing basics. Cloud computing basics are broken down into three parts. First one is the Linux operating system. The second one is learning the cloud fundamentals. And the third one is learning any programming language of your choice. These three things are very essential for landing that job in cloud computing because when you have interviews, they are basically testing you on these three skills. So what I have done is I have created a cheat sheet for you. And in this cheat sheet, I have enlisted all the topics that you have to learn. So what you need to do is first go and create a copy of that cheat sheet. And then for every concept mentioned in the cheat sheet, start Googling and start learning things. And while you are learning, please take very good notes. So at the end of the day, once you're done with step number one, you should end up with a document with all your notes. Now, the reason I'm asking you to take notes is because it helps you first remember the concepts better. And number two, when it is interview time, you will have to go back to your notes and refresh your memory on all the things that you learn in this step. So don't forget to take very good notes. So now that you have mastered the basics, it is time to start learning about cloud platforms and getting your hands dirty. This step should take you about one to two months uh, with four to five hours of daily practice. So there are multiple platforms out there like A Cloud Guru, Udemy, like Coursera. And apart from all these platforms, cloud providers like AWS, Azure and Google have their own training platforms that you can use to start learning cloud. Now, most of these platforms also have free training and they also have paid training. So you can choose um, which training you want to take. Now, one thing to note here is don't try to become a cloud expert right in the beginning. It is important that you take associate level or beginner level courses because again, you don't want to be an expert, but you want to be a person who understands cloud computing platforms well and has a basic understanding of how things work. Other than this, your goal should be again to take very good notes as you're learning the cloud platform because these notes will come in handy during your interview prep. And if you're interested in learning the AWS platform, I have three cheat sheets for you. These cheat sheets allow provide you resources, provide you links to free training to how to set up your cloud account the right way and how to do hands-on practice. Apart from this, I also have a YouTube video in which I have shared five projects that you should build that will enrich your resume and give you good enough practice in multiple domains. So I highly recommend regardless of what cloud platform you use, go and watch this video and at least get an idea of what projects you should be building so that it helps you get hired. Step number three is getting your certification. 
in this step you should be not spending more than one to two months trying to prepare for your certification and getting certified also the focus should be on getting the basic associate level certification you don't want to become a professional or spend like four or five months trying to get that professional certification even if you get a basic associate level certification it is good enough it shows that you are cloud certified and you are a cloud expert so in the beginning of the video i mentioned that you know this step is completely optional and now i want to tell you why the hard truth there or the most uncommon thing people talk about there is getting certified does not guarantee you a job i know so many people who have a cloud certification but do not have a job cloud certifications are good they can help you to get those interview calls but they will not help you pass the interviews when you give cloud interviews they expect you to have a good understanding of cloud they expect you to have behavioral skills they expect you to have technical skills and they also test your coding knowledge a cloud certification does not help you prep for all of this and also the thing to note here is preparing for a cloud certification is a time investment and also a money investment so a lot of employers also reimburse the fees for cloud certifications so if you are someone who has a employer who reimburses the fees then by all means go for it so then you will ask me if i don't get certified how do i actually build skills and my answer for you is you build skills by building good and rich projects try to go out of your comfort zone learn machine learning build machine learning projects build gen ai projects and upskill yourself so either you can get certified which is helpful which does help you get interview calls or you can spend your time trying to build a skill heavy profile where you are learning new skills and building more projects a person whose resume has a certification will also get an interview call but a person's resume that has good enough projects that has lot of hands on skills will also get interview calls so that is why in my opinion this step is completely optional i wanted to make you aware about the pros and cons which i did so choose the best path for you so step number 4 is doing interview prep you should be spending somewhere about 2 to 3 months on this step and remember this is the only step where you you are supposed to spend maximum amount of your time as you are learning cloud projects as you are learning new cloud skills update your resume and start updating your linkedin profile share about what you have learned by building the cloud projects on linkedin and share your cloud knowledge build your brand around cloud computing and start applying to roles applying to roles and doing interview prep should both happen parallelly apply to entry level roles like cloud support engineer cloud engineer cloud infrastructure engineer devops engineer systems engineer and cloud consultant now depending upon company to company these roles require experience or they do not but generally all these roles are considered as beginner level roles also expect at least 4 to 5 rounds of interviews when you apply to these roles now these 4 to 5 rounds of interviews will test your linux your networking your cloud your coding your behavioral skills expect that five rounds will test you for all of this so when you are doing interview prep you have to prep for each of these technical areas even though you are preparing interviews are not actually testing your cloud certification skills they are testing you on these five technical areas so that is why i say that certification can be optional if you would like and you can spend that time building skills and learning stuff or preparing for your interviews also note that in this video i am not diving into any role specific prep like i am not exactly going to give you pointers on how to prepare for a cloud engineer role if you want me to create a video that is role specific please let me know in the comments below that on which role would you like me to make a video and i will create that video in the coming months so definitely let me know in the comments now the last step here is actually giving a lot of interviews and getting multiple job offers now one advice to all of you folks out there is please be patient with yourself 
Don't get discouraged by failure. Your goal should be applying to multiple companies and giving multiple interviews. Remember that giving interviews is also a skill and you will get good at giving interviews and passing interviews once you start doing it more and more. Another tip that I will give you is use LinkedIn to connect with recruiters, hiring managers, join communities and groups that will help you get that job and also connect with like-minded people. The goal here should be that you have to get those interviews, you have to give multiple interviews and you have to get multiple job offers. And at the end, once you have at least two job offers, choose the one that gives you a good pay and best benefits. That is pretty much the end of this video. I want to leave you with one thing. Building a career in cloud computing is possible. It is possible for anyone with or without a tech background. You just need to be persistent. You need to be dedicated. And trust me, with hard work and with efforts, you will be able to land your dream job in cloud computing. Now, if you found this video to be helpful, please like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. Please share this video with someone who will find value out of it. And other than that, I share a lot of helpful career tips on Instagram. So do follow me there for some fun content. Other than that, I hope that you have a fun-filled Navratri. Happy Dashera and have a great rest of your day.